everyone, here I am back at the Outreach Center and I'm going to make a very yummy muffin today. I have some bananas that need to be used up, so I'm going to use the bananas in the muffins. So they're super yummy, moist, delicious. And so before we get into that, let's read some scripture. So I'm in the book of Psalms chapter 34, and I'm going to read verses 17 and 18. Here's what it says. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. So the word that jumps out at me is crushed. Have you ever been crushed in spirit? I have. I have been crushed in spirit. And it just takes everything out of you. If you've ever been crushed in spirit, it's as if your whole world is falling in on you. Have you ever seen the car crushers where they, they, they put the car in and the thing comes down and it just crushes the car and it almost doesn't even look like a car anymore? Sometimes we can feel that way. We have so much pressing in on us and we feel like we're being crushed, but not just bodily crushed, but our whole spirit, our whole beings are being crushed. And I love this scripture that when we cry out to Jesus, when we cry out in those times that he hears us, he hears us, he hears what's going on in our lives. He knows, he knows what's going on, but he waits to hear us. He waits for us to say, I can't do this anymore. God, I really could use your help in this. And he's just like that. He hears you. He's ready for you. He's waiting, anticipating it. And then he goes. It makes me think about when uh, my kids were really little, really little. And I would stand outside their door when they were waking up from a nap. Like you knew it was coming. You knew they were waking up. And that first little noise, you know what I'm talking about, that first little noise that they make when they wake up and they're a little disoriented and they're a little still sleepy, but they're, they're waking up and then you hear their cry. And what do you do? Moms, dads, what do you do when you hear that child cry? You go to them, you pick them up and you hold them and you snuggle them and you tell them you love them. That's the picture I want to paint for you today of what Jesus is like. He's waiting for you to cry out to him. And as soon as you do, he reaches out to you to heal your spirit, to heal you in your troubles. But he doesn't just come and jump in. He waits for you. Just like I would stand outside my kids' doors and I would wait I would wait for them to get that last little bit of sleep or that last little bit of whatever they needed. And when they were ready for me and they would give their cry, I would go to them. God does the same thing. He waits for us to cry out to him. And as soon as we do, he's there. Isn't that a beautiful picture? I love it. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, there's times in our lives when we are so trampled and crushed when we just feel as if we can't go on lord i pray that we would cry out to you and we know that you will hear us so just wrap us ever lovingly in your arms and whisper those sweetnesses in our ears so that only we could know what you are saying to our spirits amen all right i'm going to get my camera set up for the muffins so i'll be right back Okay, we are going to make banana chip muffins. So I have a whole bunch of muff, uh, bananas I need to use up. They're overripe. I've already got them mashed up, so um, I'm actually doubling this recipe, but I'll tell you what it is. But just realize that you may be going, but that's more than what she said. Yep, because I'm doubling it. So I'm going to start off, and you need one stick of butter, and I have two because I'm doubling 
you want it softened and I just stuck this in the microwave for just a few seconds to make it really soft to make it easier to work with because I don't have my regular mixer. I'm at the outreach center so I had this old jobby. So I just softened it a little extra. And so I have two sticks of butter and two thirds of a cup doubling, so more than two thirds for me. So two thirds of a cup of sugar and I'm just gonna cream this together. And then, all together now. And you know what creaming looks like. Like when you're all done, you should see that the butter and the sugar are just mixed together really well. And so that looks pretty good. It's kind of a thick cream, kind of chunky cream. And now to this, you would add two eggs. I'm adding four. Two eggs right in there. So I'm going to mix that up. Just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Not fully incorporated. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Two for me. If you're doing a single batch, just one. And now I'm going to mix this up really good. Get it all incorporated. What's nice about the big mixer is it has the, the thing that scrapes the sides. So I'm going to have to stop and scrape my sides to get everything down there that I need. That's one thing that's nice about those big mixers is it just takes care of that pretty much for you, especially if you have the blade attachment that has the scraper on it. That's my favorite blade. I use that one all the time. Okay, so there's that. Now to this, I'm going to add my bananas. Now this would be three over-ripened bananas, and you're gonna mash them. Go ahead and mash them really good. And I've got about, they were these were really big bananas. So I've got five bananas here, but they were big. They were like extra long, they were huge. So I'm gonna just put those right in here. Put those right in there like that, and give this a mix. Those bananas, I love the smell of overripe bananas. I don't know. They're so good. I'm not a huge banana fan, but I love things made with bananas. Okay, now I have a separate bowl here, and in this bowl, I have one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon spoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt. Now, of course, I doubled this, but this is what would be in here is one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. I'll mix this in here. Get it all incorporated. These are very yummy, and I'm going to use uh, cupcake liners because they are pretty moist. And we have chocolate chips we're going to put in those. That's the chip, banana chip. They're really good, and you can just get those little chocolate chips now. On the chocolate chips, you can use regular chocolate chips, which is what I'm going to use or you can use the minis. For this recipe, I like the big chocolate chips. I've done it with the minis. I don't know, I just like the big chocolate chips in this one. There's just some recipes you want the minis, and then there's those recipes that you want the regulars. For me, I like the regulars in it. So, and then I kind of clean my blades here. Pop those out. Get all that stuff off of there. And I'm going to wash my hands just a second. Okay, so this is what my batter looks like. And you could just go with this like this and just pop it in your muffin tins if you want, if you don't want the chocolate chips. But I'm going to put the chocolate chips in. So a cup of chocolate chips, but you're going to separate it out. 
So this would be three fourths of a cup of chocolate chips, but I doubled it. So I'm gonna just pop those in. And then I have the rest of the chocolate chips. So if you're doing one cup, three fourths in here, one fourth separated. And I'm gonna fold these in. So remember folding is not done with a mixer. You just take your spatula and you kind of turn, kind of turn the batter so that the chocolate chips get mixed all the way through the batter, just like that. And it kind of keeps it light and airy. So now what I'm gonna do is this will make, should make 12 muffins. I'm gonna make 24 because I doubled. And then I'm using a big like mashed potato or ice cream scoop. And so I'm gonna get a nice scoop here and I'm gonna put it right into the top and it fills it up really nice. So that's what I like about the, the scoop is it fills it up. And then what I'm gonna do, get those done and then I'm just gonna take a couple of chocolate chips and sprinkle those right on the top. And it makes it look so pretty. I guess pretty, I don't know. Makes it look extra yummy when you're done. So I'll let you see what this looks like before I put it in the oven. And then um, my oven is preheated to 350. So I'll get these done and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I got the pan filled. So these are gonna go in the oven, 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Watch them because you don't want them to burn because bananas don't taste good burnt. So you guys have a great day. Give these a try. They're yummy. Bye, y'all.